Do the Jets want out of pick 10? Maybe. We'll talk about it. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video. And today I'll be talking about the New York Jets and a rumor going around that they want out of pick number 10. Before we get started, just wanted to mention you can follow on social media at Matt O'Leary NY. And if you haven't already, please make sure to check out and call into the Just Jets podcast. The NFL playoffs are here with DraftKings Sportsbook. An official sports betting partner of the NFL is kicking things off with a huge offer. Counting down to Super Bowl 56, new customers can get 56 to 1 odds on any playoff team to win their game. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team is victorious. That's right, bet just $5 on any NFL playoff game and DraftKings Sportsbook will give new customers an additional $280 in free bets if the team they choose wins their game. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at a million dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. So here's what you do. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use my promo code Matt O'Leary and get 56 to 1 odds on any NFL playoff team. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets. If your team wins, that's promo code Matt O'Leary at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. So Ralph Facchiano of SNY came out and said the Jets would prefer to trade the pick number 10. We also had some beat writers saying some subliminal messages saying that they're only going to pick one person and that they would trade pick 10 for a player. Uh, Calvin Ridley's name has come up, uh, DK Metcalf's name has come up, and while I like Calvin Ridley and I might take a, fl a flyer on him on a, on a second round pick and a, a conditional day three pick, I'm definitely not trading pick 10 for him. Uh, with DK Metcalf, great receiver, don't think I'm trading pick number 10 for him either. I think if they are to trade out a pick 10, it would be in a move back back scenario and why would they want to move back or why would a team want to move up that's kind of what we have to ask ourselves here because remember it takes two to tango of course naturally so many people it feels like every year it's a trade back it will yes agree but you need someone who wants to also come up for something so let's talk through it so first and foremost why would the jets want to trade out well they have a lot of picks but they gave up some capital last year to move up for elijah vera tucker no issue with that. It was a smart move. And now you have a ton of picks. This year, again, you can move back and gain some even more assets and, you know, wheel and deal and make some trades. We've seen Joe Douglas do that on draft days in years gone by. Maybe he wants to do that again and just kind of move around the board depending on where it breaks. Or, or perhaps a team would want to jump up to the jet spot, the pick 10. And why is pick 10 one that's important? Well, the Washington football team is there at pick number 11. And you could make a case that Washington might, keyword might, be the first team to take a quarterback in this draft class. Now you have Carolina, you have Denver there in front. But when you look at those teams, they could also very much so be in the mix on free either free agents or the trade market. So like, yeah, Carolina, they need a quarterback but maybe they go a trade route. Maybe it's Deshaun Watson going there. Denver, you've heard that link to Aaron Rodgers forever. Do I think that's likely? Maybe not, but there is absolutely a world where, you know, coming up at to pick number 11 and Washington looks like they're in line to take a quarterback and someone wants to move up. Or even if that's not the case, let's say maybe one quarterback goes in the top 10 because, you know, it could happen one of those teams. Um, and Washington's still st sitting there. Who that's behind might want to move up and draft a quarterback? Well, I came up with two teams and kind of two packages, I guess. Uh, the first is New Orleans. Now, Jameis Winston, I, I don't know. Do you run it back with Jameis? I personally don't think they're going to do that or don't think they'd be wise to do that. Trevor Simeon's not really an option for me. Uh, Ian Book's not really an option. And Taysom Hill is not legitimate option in my mind but they love Taysom Hill for some reason I, I, again gadget player fun but uh not a, a real quarterback in this league so maybe they want to come up and get somebody Kenny Pickett's falling Matt Corral maybe you want to move up and you want to grab that guy okay so what do they have they have pick number 18 and if you look at the draft value chart 
Pick number 10 is valued at 1,300 points on this scale. And pick 18 is roughly 900. So you need a little bit more on top of that. Their second round, their pick 49 is 410. So would you consider keeping pick four, trading from pick 10 to 18, so you slide back eight spots and pick up another pick in the top 50 in pick 49? So then that would leave you with pick number four, 18, 35, 38, and 49, if you did that move. Maybe I would, I would consider that one. The other is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are sitting at pick 20. So what is pick 20 valued as 850 and pick number 52 in the second round is what they have it is 380, which brings you up to 1230. So you're probably going to need another pick in there somewhere, whether it's you know a later day three pick this year or another additional, maybe it's a, I don't know, a second rounder next year or something like that. And that gets you over the hump to get this deal done. Then maybe you consider that. But to me, those are the two teams that make sense for wanting to trade up into that spot, right? Because more often than not, teams trade up for a quarterback. It's rare that you see a team, you know, move up, especially like those two, it would be eight or 10 spots and draft a non quarterback. But that's like the thing you have to look at is who's right behind the jets there who is sitting there at pick 10 or for them pick 11 and that's Washington. And I think Washington is absolutely, you know, a candidate to take a quarterback. So uh, unless they then trade for one, but there's so many moving parts to this, but um, that's how I rationalized the rumor. Like if it was, you know, first and foremost, you have to figure out if it's true or not. We have no way of knowing that, but if they do really want to move out, I don't think it's for trading for a player. I think it would be a move back scenario. Um, and, you know, who you could be taking there, maybe a linebacker, uh, Nicobe Dean, that seems like a pretty nice spot for him to go in the in the late teens or 20. Maybe you still get a wide receiver there. Uh, Drake London, Traylon Burks, Garrett Wilson. You know, it's kind of hard to tell who the number one receiver that's going to come off the board. It's kind of based on preference, I think. Um, you know, they're still very valuable pieces who are going to be there. Uh, for the Jets at pick 18 or pick 20 if they wanted to do that and, you know, move move back and get another second round there. Um, it's definitely something that, you know, they may look to explore. So kind of just wanted to talk through it. Uh, like I said, I don't think it really makes sense for them to trade pick number 10 for um, Calvin Ridley, which is a risk or, or someone along those lines. If it was a second rounder, that's a little bit different, but a top 10 pick, no, probably not. But in a move back where you get, you know, a, additional capital on top of that, maybe a little bit intrigued. So let me know in the comments below what your take is. Do you want to trade out of 10? Do you think they're going to? Do you like any of those packages? Let me know or get at me on social media. The good stuff at Mount O'Leary NY. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you next time.